this party and these girls look at me. Skinny jeans only and know my hair and neck. Hey, 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 okay, okay. I want y'all to do this dance now. Juju on that beat. Juju on that beat. Juju on that, Juju on that, Juju on that beat. Now slide, chop, hit the horn, don't stop. Hey, don't stop. Hey, don't stop. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be completely different from anything that I've done on my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I kind of distressed and bleached this t-shirt. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how I transferred this photo from my computer onto my t-shirt. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. I kind of was inspired by Kanye's line. Even though some people hate it. I don't know. This is so. If you want to know and you're interested in how I did that, you can stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I started off by googling myself. I had to Google my Instagram um, name so that I can find a picture of myself because on this computer, I just didn't have one saved. So I copied and pasted, no I didn't, I lied. <laughs> I saved the picture from the internet to my computer and then I attached it onto Microsoft Word. And then I just started playing with certain filters and edits on the computer. You can find that on the top panel of your um, Microsoft Word ribbon. And um, it'll just give you a whole bunch of effects um, that you can do. And then I just printed it. Now when I printed it, I printed it first on regular printing paper just to see how it would look and as you can see here it came out perfect size so then I took the transfer paper that I bought from the Target and I put it face down into the printer and I printed it out <laughs> real simple Yes, I had to cross my fingers because I wanted it to come out perfect. But here it prints it out. And once it prints out, just leave it to dry because you don't want to mess the picture up. Now, the second thing I did, I knew I wanted wording on my shirt. So I went ahead and just typed in my YouTube name. And here's what I did wrong. You see me panicking in the video a little bit, right? So I put the transfer paper into the printer, but I didn't flip the coloring so when I say that I mean instead of having black letters on a white backboard I was supposed to switch it and make it a black backboard with white lettering that way the t-shirt would blend into the black back and the words would come out white <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot so I went to H&M and I picked up three shirts and I went to the men's section to pick them up because I knew I wanted the shirts to be longer and a little bit bigger um, and not as form-fitting as a woman's t-shirt would be. So I picked up a men's black v-neck and two crew necks. One was olive green and the other one was kind of like a tan off-white color. I went to Target and I got the t-shirt transfer paper for dark t-shirts. That's very important. And then I just slipped in a pillowcase into the shirt so that when you iron it, it doesn't paste onto the back as well. And it just states to do that in directions. And then I turned on my iron just to, you know, heat it up a little bit. And I started cutting out my transfer sheets. And then I just placed them down where I wanted them. I had to play with it a little bit to see where I wanted it. I shouldn't have cut this out like this. I really don't like it. I'd rather have just keep kept the picture a whole t-shirt, but it's whatever. I then put the wax paper on top and ironed it, focusing on the edges and making sure that I held it down for about 20 seconds in circular motions. And that was it. It was pasted and it literally felt like the t-shirt came like that. After that, I cut holes and trimmed the hell out the shirt um, as much as my heart desired. And literally, you're just doing your own design. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just cut until you feel satisfied. I 
I put the bleach into a spray bottle and I started spraying everywhere on the shirt because I wanted the shirt to be somewhat completely drenched in bleach, but I wanted the splattered look, so that's why using a spray bottle helps. Um, I also did focus on certain sections of the shirt more than other sections, like the back I didn't put so much bleach because, you know, that's just my preference, that's just what I wanted. And then I went in with the blow dryer and I put it on high heat and I blow dried the entire shirt just to make the process of the Clorox bleach move a little faster and then I washed it in the washing machine and I let it dry. I wouldn't recommend putting it in the dryer because it will peel up the transfer. And this is the final result. enjoy that video I had a ton of fun making it for you guys I think that the concept was really dope I love the idea of distressing your own clothing and being creative in your fashion so honestly it's just channeling your creative mind you know what I mean? everything that I used in the video was pretty cheap and easy to get so the supplies won't be an issue and you know it was things that you can find around your house I think for my first time doing this it kind of came out pretty good and okay um, I definitely will be doing this again because it was just, it's fun. Um, yeah, so I would change the white. I think that it stands out a little too much for the way that I wanted the actual shirt. So if you guys liked the video and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any more video requests and things you want me to do on my channel, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because, you know, it's free to see your girl. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh,